Hi, I'm Toby Malcolm. I'm the team leader for the New Zealand Nature Programme. And the programme is based here in Wellington, New Zealand. We have a team of nine volunteers, um, and our work is mostly done around the Wellington region. Some people often ask why international volunteers are needed in New Zealand, um, because it is a first world country. Um, However, in conservation we have a lot of work to do. Um, we have some pretty serious issues and a lot's at stake. New Zealand geographically has been isolated um, for about 80 million years. Um, and in that time, some quite unique flora and fauna have uh, evolved, um, independent of mammalian predators. Um, so a lot of our, our wildlife, especially birds and so on, um, have evolved without those introduced predators. Since humans have arrived, which is about a thousand years ago, um, there was a lot of um, habitat destruction with burning off of the forest to create farmland. Um, they also brought animals such as species of rats, um, stoats, ferrets and weasels. So essentially in New Zealand what we're facing is a big problem with um, decline in, in our species due to those introduced predators. Um, so a lot of the work that we do is uh, helping to remove those introduced predators and also even with things like introduced plants. We have something like 20,000 introduced plant species to New Zealand. Um, some of them have a pretty significant impact on the native forests. Um, and uh, so some of the projects we do help to um, try and try and push back those weeds. Um, so some of the um, examples of the projects that we work on here in Wellington. Um, Otaru Wilton's Bush is a forest remnant in the Wellington region. Um, and uh, we have a revegetation plot that we've been involved with in for several years. Um, and we go there each month and monitor how the plot is doing and also um, do tree releasing, which is actually just weeding around the, the trees to make sure the grass doesn't... Um, doesn't shade out the plants and, and kill them off. So it's doing really well. Another project we're involved with in Wellington is in East Harbour Regional Park. Each month we maintain a possum control line. Now, possums were introduced from Australia um, in the 1800s. It's since been found that possums have a huge impact on both uh, the forest ecosystems as well as uh, competing for food and, and berries and so on with their native wildlife. Um, so the Australian brush-tailed possum is a big pest here and uh, we go through and uh, follow a trap line and check the traps and rebait them um, and we also uh, help to reduce the number of rats in the park um, by refilling rat bait stations. One of the other projects we do on a regular basis is uh, monitoring of New Zealand fur seal around the Wellington coastline. We have several sites that we visit each month and uh, do counts on uh, a number of seals. The way the program is structured is that we work from generally Monday to Friday 8.30 till 5pm. We have a new project every one or two days so it is kept as varied as possible um, and that's so that people get to experience as much of Wellington as they can when they're here. We have a volunteer house, Ko-Fi house, and uh, the volunteers uh, live in a communal uh, style arrangement where um, they're sharing a bedroom with one or two other volunteers and all the cooking and uh, house duties are shared around. So it's a lot of fun. In the weekends, uh, volunteers have free time and there are lots of attractions in Wellington, either nightlife or during the day, there's things like Te Papa, the National Museum. Um, and lots of uh, wilderness areas to visit. It's very interesting living <laughs> nine of us all together in one little house, yeah. but the house is lovely and uh, we have a lot of fun. I would definitely recommend the programme, it's absolutely fantastic. Everyone who works here is lovely. The, the um, team leaders, you know, the guys who take us out are great, but also the people we work with, you know, every single one has been fantastic. Yeah, that's very places yeah, where yeah, we go. Yeah. 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 One, of the, one of the good things is that you do different projects every day, more or less. So in the two weeks I've been here, I haven't done the same thing twice, so it's been really good. Um, I think I enjoyed uh, Tari Wilton um, the most, just because it's an absolutely stunning place to be, and Jonathan, who we work with, is a really cool guy, really, really into his trees. 
Um, and we get to do different things. Um, we don't. We're not always doing weeding or planting or something. We're doing a lot of varied stuff. So yeah. it's really good fun. Anyone who's thinking of doing it, do it. Yeah, definitely. You see so much of Wellington and New Zealand that tourists don't see, um, and you get opportunities to to meet people who are really committed to the environment mm. that you just wouldn't meet at home. Probably. I think I think like the biggest difference. Um, that you make when you come down here is just meeting the people because it makes it gives you a new personality kind of um, a new perspective of the world and that's that's the biggest difference I think. Throughout your time here in New Zealand uh, myself and Dan will be here to look after you uh, to provide any uh, support we can and answer any questions and make sure you have a really good time. So thank you very much for listening and we look forward to seeing you in New Zealand. Um, your help will be very much appreciated and we know that you'll enjoy your time here.